The chest x-ray is from a patient with a 75-pack year history of smoking. Note the mass in the right upper lung and the deviation of the trachea towards the right. The patient CT scan shows a large lung tumor with a central necrotic area. A fiber optic bronchoscope will be used to examine the patient's lungs and obtain tissue for pathological diagnosis. The patient is placed under general anesthesia and the fiber optic scope is passed down the endotracheal tube into the windpipe or trachea. The carina, or junction of the trachea with the main stem bronchi, is visualized. The main stem bronchi lead to the right and left lungs. A suction trap can be used to collect saline, which is irrigated into the airway passages. The saline is suctioned and removed from the airway passages by the bronchoscope and transferred into the trap. The carina and trachea are first irrigated. The left lung is examined first. The main stem bronchus is examined. Next, the left upper low bronchus is examined and irrigated. And finally, the left lower lobe is examined and washed for cells. Next, the right main stem bronchus is entered. The right upper bronchus is collapsed and a blockage is noted in its lumen. Next, the right lower lobe is examined and washed for cells. The exact same procedure is carried out on the right middle lobe. The right main stem bronchus is re-entered and the right upper lobe bronchus is now washed in order to obtain cells. A flexible brush can be inserted into the bronchoscope to obtain cells directly from the tumor. Once the cells are obtained, the brush can be retracted into its plastic sheath for protection. The brush is inserted into the tumor-filled bronchus and rubbed several times backward and forward to obtain cells. A microcup forceps can also be used to obtain tissue cells. The forceps is opened, inserted into the bronchus, closed around the tumor, and then withdrawn through the scope. 
After the tumor has been biopsied, the procedure is discontinued and the bronchoscope is removed.